how you doing mga katuri? This is your boy Carly Boy and we are back for another video. So right now we're gonna talk about in this 5 minute word series that we're doing is faith over fear. Okay, so we're gonna talk about what is faith and what is fear. So let's start with faith. What is faith? According to the Bible, which is in the book of Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says that the faith, faith is substance of things unseen okay it's the substance of things unseen so for example you are believing that uh, one day there is something that's going to happen that is good that is uh that is part of the will of god okay even though you haven't foreseen it yet or you haven't perceived it yet okay but then you are having faith or you are believing okay that it will happen for example, so we as Christians, we do believe that uh, Jesus Christ will return uh, once again. Okay, we do, we do not know when, but then we have a strong and steadfast belief or a steadfast hope that one day He will come and get us. Okay, so that is faith. It's, it's, it's a belief, it's a, it's a steadfast hope of something that you're gonna, that something will happen in the near future. Okay, something good will happen in the near future. That is faith. Okay, let's talk about what is fear. What is fear? Fear is also a belief. Okay, why did I say the fear is also a belief? Because belief, okay, when you have fears in you, you're believing that something is dangerous or something that will endanger your life or the life of your loved ones. For example, okay, you believe that if you jump on the tallest building in the world, Okay, from the tallest building in the world, you're gonna jump from there, you're gonna die, surely. And that is a belief, okay? And that is a reality also. And the reality is fear, okay? Fear is in all of us. No one is exempted. Everyone has fears, everyone has, uh, has their own um, things that, has their own things that are, they're, they're, they are scared of. Okay, so everyone has fears and no one is exempted. But the thing is, or the bottom line here on this issue is what would you choose? Or what would you do? Or what would you believe in? Are you going to believe in fate? Someday, uh, someday good thing will happen to you? Or are you going to believe in your fears? Okay, first of all, I need you to assess your fears. If that fear is holding you back, if that fear is conquerable, when I say conquerable, can you face it? Is it possible to conquer it? Is it possible to face your fear? Okay, if, and if it's possible to face your fear, for example, you're afraid of heights, you're afraid of something, go face it. Go risk, go take risk. There's nothing wrong in taking risk and facing your fears. It will strengthen your mind, your mind. It will strengthen your mindset. It will, you're not gonna regret it one day. You have to get rid of your fears. That's why we're titled this Fate Over Fear. So please, Please don't let your fear overtake you, okay? But rather let your faith be bigger than your fears and let your faith take you where you needed to be, okay? For those who believe that uh, fear is bigger than their faith, you have to reverse that right now. And I'm begging you, please have faith and something good will happen to you in the near future in the will of God. Okay? The decision is yours right now. What would you believe? Is it your faith or your fears? Faith over fear. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. So I hope you learned something from our uh, series for today which is the entitled Faith Over Fear. So yeah, please do leave a like, share and subscribe and as always do everything for the glory of God and not for men. And this is your boy Carly Boy leaving you with a quote, a saying or a message that God exists whether you like it or not. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you so much.